we're back on the couch, which can only mean one thing. I got more parts to unbox. So let's just get right into it. We got the uh, fresh shipment in from the man, Jesse Streeter. All right, so let's get into it. Um, the main parts I got in here are body panels and some lights for my Ginsky conversion to the SuperTax. Um, this is the proper type of body panel to do the conversion. Um, I've got like the, what they call the TAC full mark panel, but this is what I really want. I want to do the proper Ginsky SuperTax um, AF09 conversion. So uh, right here, this is one that's uh, kind of hard to find, but yep, this is our tail light right here. And looks like we've got a piece that broke off right here, man. Um, that's not good. But uh, my plan is to replace this with a clear tail light housing anyway, so I mean, I guess maybe it's just kind of forcing me to do it faster than I wanted. But overall, this looks pretty good. Um, this is much different than what the factory tail light looks like. Now, I was already fortunate enough on my arrow to have the correct JDM full mark tail light with the center light. Um, those are kind of hard to find, so the guy that I bought the scooter from already had the part on there, so that was pretty cool, but it's time to switch to the actual tacked body panel. So this is a nice addition to that, and eventually I'll get those clear tail light lenses to replace these. All right, next on the list. Oh yeah, this is cool. So I've already got, you know, my, my stock panel will work for my scooter, but I found this one on Bayou for like 10 bucks. And I messaged Streeter, I was like, hey man, if you can get that, grab it, throw it in with the shipment. Uh, Cause I gotta have it, it looks super cool. So you can see somebody actually cut out vents on here. Um, the paint is in horrible condition, as you can see. I mean, this is just gross, super gross. So um, we'll uh, we'll strip this paint off of here and um, get this thing looking much better. All right, moving on. Oh yeah, these are the nice pieces right here. These are my tacked side panels. Sweet. Okay, okay. Not in bad shape at all. Looking pretty good so far. Um, if I remember on one of these, it had like a, a broken tab towards the bottom or on the side on one of these. Not a huge deal. Um, yeah, so like right there, there's a crack and then it's missing the bottom mounting tab. But overall, this is in pretty good shape. I even got a, a, a lock cylinder that I can't use, but <laughs> cool. Um, this one is in a little bit better shape. Missing one of the um, mounting tabs that I can see so far. Yeah, so over here, this piece broke off. Um, but this side is all intact, which is great. So, oh, well, I didn't know about that. Got the grills kind of separated, but maybe I can make some repairs to that with some, uh, some plastic willow or some epoxy. At least all the pieces are still there. All right, and the next piece we got this is what I've been looking forward to. So check this thing out. This is what's called a marker light. Um, it's pretty much just an LED light fixture that goes on the outside of the scooter. Normally you see things like this on, um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but the Decatora uh, truck scene in Japan, which basically means decorative truck. Um, it's like semi trucks over that they just bling out extravagantly and they have like crazy marker lights and stuff all over. I thought this one was pretty cool. It's got the SEV Marshall cat on there and it's got kind of a nice cherry pink glow. All right, well that's gonna do it for all of my parts that I've ordered. Um, this will complete my conversion panel set for the Ginsky conversion. Um, what I wanna do now is go ahead and throw these on the bike, see how much different it looks, and then talk about what the plans moving forward are. So let's go ahead and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning to do that.
All right, just want to show you guys something, part of this conversion. Uh, whenever you get these um, side pieces for the tact, they don't actually line up with the frame perfectly well because um, from the factory they've got these weird like standoff bolts. Um, so the solution is to get one of these, an M1 by six coupling nut. Screw it down about halfway. on each of them and then you can get it to mount up just like this so now all i got to do is put on the tail light and the conversion is done however can't do it today because i don't have the correct uh, mounting setup for this rear light um, people say you can hack it up but i've actually got one on order from Bai, so i'll have the correct rear fender to throw this thing on but so far i mean check this thing out looking pretty good I uh, got rid of the turn signals got these ones up front yep I like it looks much more slick um, you'll notice I got some different side panels on here well I had ordered these before and then I ran into the issue of melting through the plastic so I've got to figure out a way to get this chameleon expansion pipe on and bent out to the side because it's an AF 16 it doesn't match perfectly with the body lines on this so um, once I get that bent and back in shape, I'll get the rest of this mounted on and I'll show you guys then. Okay, so I did not win the bid for the correct rear tail piece that I need. So we're going to hack this thing up to make this tail light fit. Isn't that cool? Oh yeah, the super chamber is going on by the way. This uh, thing needs to be spaced out a bit so I've been hitting it with some, uh, some heat and uh, shoving various objects in there to get it spaced out but it looks like I'm gonna clear now, so that is great. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, look at what we gotta do to hack this thing up to get this taillight to fit correctly onto the tacked rear fender. All right, um, so I made my initial cuts here and I think we're actually good. I notched this part out and uh, got it to where it sits nice and flush inside of there. Cut off this bottom part where the bottom mounting bolts were at because they're in a different location on this tail light. And I also kind of shaved down, grinded out the inside of that so that this um, light bulb socket can slot inside. So let's see what we can do to get this thing put in here real quick. There we go, not bad. And it actually sits in there like even without the bolt, but of course we're gonna put a bolt in there. Um, yeah, not too bad though. So let's go ahead and get this thing all mounted up, bolted together and see how it looks. All right, how about that? She's looking good. Uh, I do need to get a seat, different seat for this thing. Um, the correct tack seats actually flow better with the body lines and they're a little bit smaller, uh, whereas the arrow one's kind of chunky on here. And plus it's the wrong color. I'm gonna have to get this thing made black. So. I'm going to keep an eye out for one on Bai and see if I can snag it for the low. Um, but this looks good. Let's go ahead and take some uh, quick photos of it, get it out on the road, see how it looks, and uh, I'll catch you guys back. 